being in prison strips away every single sense of humanity that you hold dear. You have no ownership over who you are as a human being, which is absolute slavery. My name is Serena Martin Ligori. Before I went to prison, I was a college student. I babysat for children. I worked in a clothing boutique, and I also cleaned houses with my mom. I went to prison when I was 20 years old, and my sentence was three years long. I was given a job in the cafeteria for nine cents an hour. There was no training. There were no safety precautions to make sure that nobody got burnt and subsequently burned my wrist so badly that um, I had to be removed from the mess hall. If you decided to not go to your assigned job, the punishment for that is solitary confinement. Even for women who've given birth, they don't allow you to not return to work. I think one of the most harmful things is to know that your basic human needs aren't being met and that you can't provide those needs for yourself. Women who were working in the Department of Motor Vehicle had fought tooth and nail to get into that program because that program paid 38 cents an hour. I think for most of us as women behind bars, we were so grateful for the few crumbs we could get. So I'm the executive director of New Hour for Women and Children on Long Island. I love that we're able to create healing spaces and that we're able to take women in who deserve every bit of support that we give them. If the everyday average person walked into a jail or prison, saw the conditions under which people live, I find it hard to believe that everyone out there wouldn't understand that you're creating a condition that's causing more harm. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery, except for me. Let's pass the abolition amendment and end the exception.